I'm not going to regret what I've been tweeting recently, and it's all about irresponsible voice actors being replaced by AI tools or representation in general. Oh, by the way, there's a late 90 point for duty. I really just need to say this. I really need to get this out of the way. Of course, that change would not be without its problems. The AI replacement of voice actors will not be discriminate. All voice actors, regardless of good or bad reputation, will lose their jobs in the near future. And I've been making sure to support this regardless of what happens. Now, why? Anime localization. But of course, to definitely get you guys going on the evidence of what I mean, I should definitely show you guys something of an improvement to one of the biggest localization errors in the history of anime. <laughs> What's with that outfit? Oh, everyone was always saying something to me, so I tried toning it down for exposure. How is it? You should try changing your body next. You can come on in if you want. Okay, thank you. <sighs> it's no wonder those annoying voice actors are upset. They're all so arrogant and annoying. Nah, just the Western ones. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I love, I love the redub. That was actually great. <laughs> you might not have noticed, but the, li the line that Lakoa has said. Okay, this is the original. This is the original. Uh, this is the original uh, clip. In case that some of you don't know the actual. The, the patriarchy line maybe you guys have not actually been listening to it at all before but this is the original line that was said years ago and I don't like how it was before I was silent about this I didn't watch dubbed anime but let me just tell you this you're about to hear is bullshit complete bullshit really not really. What are you wearing that for? Oh, those pesky patriarchal societal demands were getting on my nerves. So I changed clothes. Give it a week, they'll be begging you to change back. Huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, the bitch. She already admitted that she actually wrote those lines in the first place. But she doesn't really... She doesn't really regret writing those lines in fact they were greenlit that's what's actually worse they were greenlit by the dub team they were greenlit by the dub team now whoever was on the dub team who greenlit this i'm surprised they're actually still living and not burning off at the side of the road or something into ash or something but seriously they need to be bound and gagged they need to wait to be forced to wear cement shoes and they need to be dropped into the ocean where they will never resurface. Same with the other voice actors who are abusing their authority as voice actors in localizing when they should not make it bad when it comes to missing out on context. Saying out of context phrases or sentences, bullshit. This is why I don't entirely watch dubbed anime. I do watch anime, all subtitled, been watching those for years. I stopped watching anime just because of my frustrations when it comes to the production and how it's actually being delivered in the first place. That's why I took a break from watching anime. Okay. This localization thing is definitely making me reevaluate my choices when it comes to listening to what others are saying about the quality. My friends, Miss Kobayashi Dragon made that dub, episode 12, has been cemented as bullshit. Thanks to Jamie Marchi. She actually wrote those lines. Pathetic bitch. She is. Yeah. Yes, she is. <laughs> <laughs>